What is up, YouTube? Reverend Bob here. Little short video. So somebody asked me uh, this week, you know, what I feel and what my take on um, addiction is. There seems to be a lot of it um, going around since the pandemic. I said, well, you know, if it hurts you to the point where it's hurting others and yourself and causing disruption... And making your life a failure, then maybe you need to address that addiction. Um, I'm not a, I'm not in the business of uh, counseling, but I do suggest that they see, you know, uh, seek psychiatric help. You know, go to uh, see somebody in their local community or online, someone they can talk to about their addictions. I mean, people deal with stress and, and loss. Differently. Now, with that being said, do I have an addiction? <laughs> yeah, I think I might have an addiction, guys. I love candy. Oh my god. I am terrible. I just I can eat this in two days. I guess I can eat nuts too, but oh, I just God, I love candy. Ow! That's my addiction. German chocolate. <laughs> Reese's. Hershey's. And mixed nuts. Oh, God. Look. I'm terrible. And I really don't care. There's... <laughs> There's some addictions... They're just terrible. Now, with that being said, and I know I shouldn't say it, but I do. Ever since I was a little kid, and I blame this on my Uncle Mike. See? And Uncle Mike, if you're out there, you know it's your fault. Back in the early, oh, I don't know, 71, 72, somewhere around there, my Uncle Mike... He'd come to my grandmother's house and he had a hundred um, lollipops. Now, back in those days, they had uh, swirled lollipops. They look, um, God, um, like tutti fruity tasting or something. Anyway, we had what was called a crunch and munch. And me and him sat down and ate all 100 of them lollipops. Well,. My uncle wasn't feeling too good, and I was still eating. I was still crunching. My whole life, I've loved candy. Now, do I do it all the time? No. Do I try to control myself? No. <laughs> but when we're talking about addiction to drugs, alcohol, mind-altering substances, you know, things that are on a different level, um, those things ruin people's lives guys now if you're using something and it's you know for a medical purpose you know whether you know it's um a pharmaceutical or whether it's natural like marijuana or cbd just as long as you know uh you keep it within the bounds of um reality and you're using it for that i have you know i mean there's nothing wrong with that it's when people go overboard it's when people start making excuses to have it. It's when they sell off everything, put their children and their family aside, and lose everything they ever had, when it becomes a problem. So, you know, part of being a woman or a lady, a man or a man, you know, a grown-up, <clears throat> is knowing how to control your emotions. And when you can't do that, whether it's an addiction whether it's the way you talk to people, uh, whether it's the way that you present yourself, um, you know, you need to seek some counseling <clears throat> and get it under control. And yes, you can get it under control. Is it going to be easy? No. Is it going to be worth it? Yes. In your mind at the time, it won't be. You'll be fighting it tooth and nail. But in the end, you'll be happy you did. But if you think I'm giving up chocolate, if you think I'm giving up nuts, well, 
No, I'm not. <laughs> but, in retrospect of things, I will control myself to the last paper crinkles. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I love you guys. Take care. You know, take everybody's, you know, advice with a grain of salt. But, look, guys, if you're having some issues out there, you know, get some help. You know? Um, I'd hate to lose you guys and not have you come back and not have you enjoy my channel and not be able to, you know, have warm talks with you and watch your kids grow up and, you know, and for some of you grow into being a young lady or a young man. So, anyway, take care, guys. I love you. Like, share, subscribe. And Reverend Bob will see you next time. Because Reverend Bob is out of here. And I'm going to go have a piece of candy. See ya.